Hi. Now, what I've got here is a couple of questions that you might like to try. This is a follow-up exercise to my previous tutorial where I showed you how to work out equations of this type. So just give you a moment to pause the video, have a go at these, and as usual, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So with this first one, what we've got to do is expand the brackets. So we've therefore got five multiplied by each of the two terms inside this bracket. So it's gonna be five times three X, which is going to be 15 X, and then five times minus four, which is going to be minus 20. And this is going to equal, and now we just do two times five X and two times the plus three. So two times five X is 10 X, and then two times plus three is going to be plus six. So I can see now I've got a couple of X terms, and I've got a couple of constant terms. So which side am I going to gather the X terms on? Technically, it doesn't matter which side, whether I go the left-hand side or the right-hand side, but I'm going to gather the X terms on the left-hand side purely because I can see this term, 15X, is greater than this term, 10X. So I'm going to subtract 10X from both sides. So we'll have 15X take away a 10X, which is going to leave me with 5X. And then we've got the minus 20, equals and we're left with the 6 here when we take 10x away from this side. Next I'm going to remove the minus 20 by adding 20 to both sides. So 5x minus 20 add 20 is just going to leave me with 5x and then on the right here would have 6 add 20 which is going to be 26. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 5 just to get the x now. So 5x divided by 5 would just leave me with 1x or x and then we've got 26 divided by 5. 26 fifths, you could leave it like that. Change this to a mixed fraction. x would equal, in this case, 26 divided by 5. 5 to go into 26 5 times and then there'll be 1 left over and that'll be 1 fifth. 5 and a fifth, okay? Now in number two, we've got to take care with this type, as I pointed out in my previous tutorial. We've got, in fact, three terms here. We've got this term as the first term equals five as another term minus two times this bracket, okay? So we mustn't see this as five take away two. It's five take away two times that bracket. Anyway, so if we just start first of all by expanding this bracket here, we've got minus three times two X, which is minus six X. And then we've got minus three times minus eight, which is plus 24. And then on the right hand side here, as I say, we don't do five take away two, we just got five. Now we do minus two times the four and minus two times the minus three X. So minus two times the four is minus 8 and minus 2 times minus 3x is plus 6x. So let's just simplify this further by just grouping together these two constant terms. So on the left we've just got minus 6x plus 24 still but on the right hand side here 5 take away 8 is minus 3. I could write minus 3 plus 6x I'm not going to write it as 6x minus 3. I think it looks nicer starting with a positive term there. Now, which side am I going to group the x terms? It doesn't matter, but uh, noticing that minus 6x is smaller than 6x, I'm going to group my x terms on the right-hand side. So I'm going to add 6x to both sides. So minus 6x plus 6x is 0, and then I've just got the 24 that's left. Okay, and then if I add 6x to this side, 6x, add another 6x is 12x, and I've got the constant minus 3. Now I'm going to remove the minus 3 by adding 3 to both sides. 24 add 3, this is going to be 27, and 12x minus 3 plus 3, 
well, that's just going to leave me with 12x. I now divide both sides by the 12 and I've got 27 over 12 equals x. I can reverse that round and I've got x equals 27 twelfths. But I'm going to reduce this by saying 12 into 27 goes twice. That uses up 24 of the twelfths and then I'm going to have 3 twelfths left over. And 3 twelfths reduces to a quarter so therefore x is going to be equal to 2 and a quarter. Okay so uh, hope you managed to get those right. If not, being able to see where you've gone wrong.